Hi friends! So we have another week of leaf fall leaf activities this week. I'm super excited to see what we can do. Last week we did rubbings of the trees and the trunks and the bark and this week we're going to do leaf rubbings. We, um, Jackson went outside and picked a whole bunch of leaves off the ground or off the bushes. You put the leaf underneath the paper and you take that crayon and rub, rub, rub and look how beautiful the pictures of the leaves that come through the rubbings on the paper. So we just take our crayon and rub, rub, rub and look at those cool designs that you're able to make on your paper. So our next one, which I love, you know I love non-messy painting, is our sensory leaf painting. So we actually took a bag and filled it with paint. Hi, Preston's here to help. We took a bag and filled it with paint, all of our fall autumn colors, yellow, red, and orange. And then I cut out a leaf and you can tape the paint behind it. And then you can squish it all around in there and make different colors. So this is actually a great way to um, practice mixing different colors and you can do a couple different ones. You can cut out um, a few different leaves and you can have a bag with orange with red and yellow to make orange, a bag with um, yellow and blue to make green, a bag with blue and red to make purple, or just kind of squish in all different kinds of colors. It doesn't have to be. But that way, you can squish it all around, or you can even just take the same bag and move it from leaf to leaf. And then you have a beautiful leaf painting with no mess, because our paint is all in our Ziploc bag. And if you hold it up to the window, it's actually really pretty too, because you can see the sunshine through. So our last activity of this week is using those fine motor skills. So we are going to make our own little leaf bundle out of pom-poms. I took a whisk from the kitchen, filled it up with some pom-poms. You can use cotton balls, pom-poms, little balls, whatever you have. And then it's just picking them out and putting them into a cup and pressing them back in. So you can pull them out and you can sort them by color. You can put all the blue pom-poms in a cup and all the purple ones. We happen to have some fall colors and all some orange ones. Um, and then you can count how many pom-poms you have of each color. And then you can take them and you can put them push them back into the pom-pom. Super fun, easy way, easy home, at home activity, no mess. So I hope you have fun with these fall activities and I'll see you soon, bye.